Today's a great day. We have a new drone, brand new, ready to fly at the lake. It just brings back so many good memories because for years we did drones and drones and nothing but drones on the channel. We took a little break from them, but that does not mean we don't like them. And so we are happy to be showing you guys a, a new and I think Holy Stone's best current best drone. Guys, Holystone has been around for like a decade now. They have been well established in the not break the bank. Like DJI's prices have skyrocketed. Their new drones are so expensive. I'd have to sell half my RCs just to buy one of those. This comes in at just like two or $300. I can't remember right where it's at. Probably a coupon code linked in the description box below. This has a 4K camera. It is awesome and folding just like what you would expect. Brushless motors and hopefully under the gimbal protector, we have ourselves a two axis gimbal with image stabilization. Again, this is Holy Stone's newest drone. So Abby and I are here at the lake today. What a beautiful day God has blessed us with. We're just gonna do the classic good old RC Sailor drone test. See how this handles with some wind coming in, the standard things we all wanna see. Let's kick back, relax, and have a good time testing this new drone. Let's go. One thing I can say about Holy Stone drones is they are very, very good about Ooh. their whole, sorry, their, their initial startup process. They're consistent and they have been for a long time. So what we like to do before we go crazy is just do a good hover test. And we like to do that usually a little farther out, but because there's water there, we'll just do a hover test right here at the edge of the lake before we go out for usually like almost 30 seconds, especially if you did this off camera. You don't want to do it a little longer just to make sure it's not going to toilet bowl or have any weird tendencies. We did a compass calibration before we took off. Didn't show that on camera because it just works really well. And Holy Stone does a fantastic job with their compass calibration. This drone has visual position hold on the bottom of it too. Uh, and sometimes water can mess with that. So anyway, looks like it's flying and hovering really well, fighting wind extremely well. Nice and smooth gimbal. I'm looking down at my camera and it looks amazing right now. So let's, uh, Abby, let's sit down, get comfortable, and have an, a, a nice, enjoyable flight with our new drone. On these drone flights, Abby and I have realized we like to sit down and get comfy, cozy. Uh, they're a little bit longer, and you know, she's not having to chase the airplane around quite as bad or anything. So we just want to kind of enjoy our flight uh, today. Now, as I said, water messes with drones' visual position hold, so we might see a little more drift than usual. But that's not too bad. That's not bad at all. Let's see if we can angle our camera down. There we go. Nice and it's pretty smooth. So the nice thing about a drone, there's our there's our shadow. For a half second, I thought that was like a bass swimming by. <laughs> a lot of times when you're fishing in springtime like this, you get the advantage by being able to see in the water. And the higher you are, the better you tend to be able to see the fish. So with a drone and big enough fish and clear enough water, you might be able to see your next target. Just panning around, getting a little distracted because I'm seeing all the fishermen here today. Abby and I picked a spot where there weren't any fishermen. Let's go cruise along the shoreline and see how that goes. Now, we won't go super far today. I want to maintain line of sight as anyone should, especially on a maiden flight. Something that I've realized I think our drones are doing, Abby, is sometimes when the signal goes through the mic i think it makes some static pop in the mic so we've got to be a little careful about our audio and uh also range while we're sitting is not <laughs> the app quite just as went good. to not connected but i'm still able to fly it and see it and that's why we stay within line of sight when we're testing a drone for the first time <clears throat> you know well, technically, you should always be within line. You of should always be within line of sight. Yes, but it's a, it's imperatively important to do it on a maiden flight. I That's, think yeah, you got it back. Yeah, we just flew back within range. So, you know, one thing DJI has over drones like this is range. You're you're pretty much a drone like this <clears throat> unless you're standing up on a hill and just have this boosted kind of signal with no interference. You're going to be flying within line of sight most of the time a drone like this. It's gonna be, oh, you're at the dock and at the lake and you wanna get a really cool shot while you're out. This is where a drone like this shines. Uh, and you know something we didn't do with this drone? Let's fly it back in and do our famous little gimbal test. And I think it's gonna look good. 
I'm happy to see Holy Stone progressing. It's always felt like, you know, they started off almost like a, a toy grade drone company. And here they are now with brushless motors, long flight time, GPS, and a gimbal on the front. And that is really cool. So let's see here. We've got the drone facing away. You guys watch. Watch how much Abby's going to show this thing shaking back and forth. And then look how smooth the footage is. You look at that movement on that drone, and I'm just doing some side to side, a little bit of forward and back, really rocking it as extreme as we can get it. And I'm looking at our live feed, and it is just silky smooth. Now we'll go in all directions. And let's get that second axis in, or actually the third axis, I should say. We're gonna get some yaw, too. A little bit of everything. And you guys can see that gimbal working really well. The only time not having a three axis gimbal comes in bad is if you're going crazy on the yaw. So what I mean is the rotation. Let's go out here and I'll show you what I mean. It's a little right, little left, little right, little left. You can see a more jarring view when I do that. It's not super jarring because it still has digital Im image stabilization built in too. But everything on the right stick when you are tilting that drone is just silky smooth. So if you're fighting wind or whatever, it's going to come out looking just perfect. Now, Abby, a lot of times when you get a drone like this, it comes in a trainer mode. So we're going to go into our settings here. And... It is in the beginner. Yeah. We'll turn that off. That means we'll have farther range. Maybe we can fly over and look at that dot. Wait, no. I think that means that you're turning mm -hmm. it on. I don't know. Yep. Yep. You're right. So right now we have max range and everything on. Okay. So let's just see if we can fly over and at least see the dock. So let's go up a little bit. I'm looking for the dock from here. This is why drones are cool, to get that aerial perspective. Make sure our focus is good. Oh, we have nice digital zoom too. Look at this. Right? Oh yeah, look, there's the dock. Digital <laughs> zoom is blurry, but it's so cool. Okay, now let's see if we can <laughs> The fly image over a that bit. came up was like <clears throat> special ops looking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, screen well, we have the screen have recorder. That. that was funny looking. We're actually cruising really fast because it's in sport mode, flying really fast. Still got our signal. As long as we just kind of face the drone, we have a much better signal. Look at that. There's the dock back there. Oh, yeah, this is great. We're actually 500 feet away and still have really good signal. No weird delays or anything. I think the only reason we lost signal earlier is because it was to our backs and behind a tree line and i think that just kind of broke that signal but if we stay up high like this we're 120 feet high it's not even really that high we're going to go over here keeping it not over anybody and check out that dock there we go and it looks like abby there might be a boat getting ready to dock or maybe he just left and maybe kayakers those are kayakers yeah okay you know what let's do this Let's be all creepy. Zoom. Can you pick? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There, I'm a little, it's a little delayed on my y'all. Can you pick where you're zooming into? Uh, I lost, oh, lost it, connection. yeah. <clears throat> but that's okay, because I know this, I know the distance and the direction. So we're just gonna fly back a little bit until we get our signal back. And then we can always return to home too. So we don't want to go too much farther away. There it is. Do we have our video signal back yet? Not yet. Okay, we'll get it down lower. That's the downside to a Wi-Fi drone, you guys. You just gotta be careful about your distance and your range for your video signal. And super important to stay within line of sight because even DJI drones can do this. But we got to see the dock, we got to see some kayakers, that's really cool. There's a butterfly, butterfly, you stay down. Ah! <laughs> in the face. <laughs> It's not connecting back, unfortunately. Sometimes we just got to go through the reconnection process. So give us a second. Okay. okay, just wanted to check and see if we were still recording. That's nice. It did not stop recording according to the uh, telemetry that we have. The SD card should still be recording. And we still have, of course, our screen recording. Let's angle our camera back up a little bit. So lesson learned with this Holy Stone drone and pretty much any drone in this price point and category, you want to keep it fairly close. Now I have actually flown drones by this brand that have had better range. Um, it could just be where we're at, but you know, there's no big cell towers out here or anything. So just gotta be aware that that is probably one of the limitations of this drone. 
Let's fly her. Let's get a panning shot back here a little bit, Abby. That's a cool little like road bridgeway. Maybe we can fly back here just a little bit. Angle back around. And in my opinion, for the money, if you're wanting to get your feet wet with a drone that has a gimbal, so far everything is good. It looks good, it's flying well. <clears throat> the live feed looks really nice on Abby's phone. She's just got an iPhone. I love being able to angle the camera up and down. This is so cool. I guarantee there's fish in here, Abby. Guarantee it. <clears throat> just kind of looking around a little bit. Wouldn't it be so cool to see a monster bass just swim by? I feel like we could easily see that right now. Zoom in. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> see anything good? You guys time stamped if there's anything. Oh, there, there's a giant right there. you <laughs> <laughs> funny. I don't know. I love having, I just, I just like having a drone. When we go on vacation or something, ask Abby. I always bring a couple RFCs and one is always a drone. I always have a drone on us. And I like Holystone drones because they don't break the bank. That's the main reason I like them. And they're pretty reliable. Don't have to worry about them flying away or anything. The camera quality is good. It's, do you have like a battery indicator I on do, your yeah. transmitter <clears throat> screen? Because there's none in the app. I don't. So in oh, the I app, see. yeah, no, it's right there at the top. And then no also show them this, Abby, while the drone is hovering. Show the radio. This is another thing I love about Holystone drones. So, well, I'll show you something I don't like. But right here, you can see we've got a display, and most Holystone drones have that. I can see. <laughs> it's so bright out, you what guys. What if I do I can't here? See what's do happening? Right there. Does that help? So we have telemetry on this screen of the radio, which is really nice, but also built into the phone itself. I've always loved that about Holystone drones. It tells you the GPS, the battery of the drone. We're not even halfway down on our battery. But at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you guys one thing that I hate about these drones. And I wish Holystone would change. And I wish basically all drone companies would change. Uh, so let's land this so I can tell you one of the least favorite things I've ever seen on drones they have a simple fix. It's actually cheaper than the, what they're doing now. And maybe with enough feedback, we can get them to start doing the cheaper, better solution and to stop doing this thing that I absolutely pretty much hate. Don't land on the goose poop, don't land on the goose poop. Nice smooth landing. Well, that was a nice smooth flight, really. And the gimbal did more than I expected it to for a drone in this price point. Again, this will be linked in the description box below. There's two things that I didn't love about this drone, but I will say everything else I really liked. It is very easy to start up and get in the air. I love the Holystone process. It's been the same since the beginning. And so I like that consistency. It flew really well and it flew uh, without any worry. I knew we could fly this over the lake. I knew Holystone makes good enough drones that I don't really have to worry about a flyaway. Although we were still careful. The things that I don't like, we had two um, app disconnects. So the, of course the radio and everything still had connection and that's why you need to maintain visual line of sight. So many guys don't do that and they think they're okay by not having visual line of sight. You really need to. I hate to sound like a stick in the mud or something, but at least as far as the world of YouTube needs to understand, no one should be promoting flying out of line of sight on YouTube. I'll just put it that way. And the fact that we lost connection twice once, we were pretty close and we flew back and it regained it. The other one we had to actually close the app and reopen it. So that's a little annoying. The other thing I don't like is the way the phone holder system works. So it's really cool, the idea that that folds, this leans back, and then this goes down in the controller. Amazing, I love the idea of that. What I don't love is that it's too small to actually work. So I have an iPhone, something bigger, it definitely doesn't fit. It's not even the biggest one out there. And Abby has a smaller, normal sized iPhone. And it also doesn't fit in an otter box. And it's a tiny otter box. I don't even think it would fit out of the otter box. We've tested over 1100 drones and I've seen this chip clip method and it would just clip to the top of your radio and it could hold any size phone and it was strong and sturdy. You could hold it sideways and shake it and it wouldn't fall off. So I really wish companies would start doing that, but then they would lose their cool ability to super fold up. And you know, I gotta hand it to them. I like that that radio folds up, but there is a better solution for your phone mounting system.
Well, what's the point of this? That's a handle. Just a handle. Really? For you to hold it. Yep. Oh, well, that's dumb. Uh huh. Just, it's okay. But if you're looking for a budget friendly, very, very, very travel friendly, remember the Phantoms? They used to come in a giant metal box. And that's, you know, if you bought the case, 150 bucks for the case. Those things were crazy. This is now smaller than a shoe box. You can just slide it in the back of the car, under the car seat even, and you've got a drone with you with obviously like a half hour flight time on just one battery. Holystone's a great brand. They've been around on Amazon forever. They're basically Amazon's drone brand. So we'll have this specific drone linked in the description box below, but also I have a more personal favorite drone that I think performs a little bit better than this one and is in the right price point. So I hate to leave you guys with a drone that disconnected twice you know, uh, and this one has not as good a range as the one that I'm thinking of. The one I'm thinking of is right around $250 and really is, I, I love that drone. I take it on vacation everywhere. So we'll have that one linked in the description box below too. And that's the video we'll have popping up at the end. This is a beautiful day and I'm so glad we got to get out here and fly this drone and share this experience with you guys. And for that, I thank God. I also want to say a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters for just keeping the channel going strong. You guys allow us to jump in front of the camera and be honest and truthful and show you real experiences out here. It fought the wind well, the gimbal worked great. You saw the disconnects. These are the things that we show on our channel and have since day one because of our Patreon support. And if that means something to you, if you don't like sugar-coated, fake, false reviews that are really just advertisements, please consider supporting our channel because that's why we're able to keep this going. And as I said, we'll have that drone that I just mentioned that I think outperforms this one and it's in the same price point. That video will be popping up. We have a few videos of that actually popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. See you there. Bye.